And tonight, tighter security on airline passengers headed to the U.S. The move comes amid the growing threat of terrorists sneaking a new type of bomb onto a flight, and it may have a big impact on your phone. CBS 2's Don Champion is live at Newark Liberty Airport with the details. Don? Cindy, the stepped-up security comes in the thick of the busy summer vacation travel season. The new measures will basically mean passengers headed to the U.S. will have to prove that their cell phones and other electronics actually work. More scrutiny on flights bound for the United States days after the Department of Homeland Security ordered stepped up security at certain airports overseas. The electronic devices of some U.S. bound passengers will now be checked. Listen, it's a, it's a priority. Rather be safe than sorry. Bottom line. Encroaches into our privacy are happening every day, so you kind of get used to it. The stepped up security comes amid concerns terrorist groups in Syria and Yemen may try sneaking a new undetectable non metallic bomb onto a flight headed to America. In response, the TSA is now requiring passengers at certain airports overseas to show screeners that their electronics actually turn on and off. In an alert to passengers, TSA representatives said, quote, powerless devices will not be permitted on board the aircraft. The traveler may also undergo additional screening. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place, you know. I mean, everyone's safety is is really important, of course, you know, national security also. You never know what can happen, and uh, there's all kinds of new ways of you know, doing these destructive things. U.S. intelligence officials say there's no specific threat, but that Al-Qaeda and offshoot terrorist groups have been trying to build a new generation type of bomb in recent years. Bombs similar to the failed underwear bomb that Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula snuck onto a plane over Detroit on Christmas Day 2009. What we've done is put in place some uh, extra precautions and extra checks. You know, the safety of the traveling public must come first. We mustn't take any risks with that. Now, the TSA will not say which airports overseas will be conducting these enhanced screenings, but we do know that all of them have direct flights to the United States. We're live at Newark Liberty International, Don Champion, CBS 2 News. Don, thank you.